All right, you lot. So I think I have covered pretty much the big topics of season four so far. I've done a video on the satellite locations, so you can get the new kill streaks, the harp, the armored truck, and other stuff. But I said I would do a video on a bit more information about the red doors around the map. And yeah, there's a few things to note with these doors, and they are 100% meta. I mean, trying to find these every single game is definitely worth it. You're gonna find high tier loot. You've got a chance to probably almost get enough money just to get your loadout straight away. I mean, before you'd have to do something like an Easter egg just to get a chance of getting some of this high tier loot, but now it's basically given to you for free. There's three pieces of high tier loot that you can find while going inside the doors. The first thing is going to be the advanced UAV, pretty self-explanatory, get to see everyone on the map for a short amount of time. But you can keep hold of this for the late game if you're risky, but the UAV is extremely useful just to use as soon as you get inside this door. Because when you get teleported to a completely different location, you've got no idea who's around. I mean, you're going to see me use it straight away and I had a heads up on knowing that this guy was actually just about to come inside the door and try and loot it. Once you enter the red room, it basically unlocks the doors from the outside so anyone can actually come in. Normally, it's pretty common to find people who, you know, are just still looting in the area. The second thing is going to be the durable gas mask. It is very underrated. You're able to stay in the gas almost three times as long as a regular gas mask. You can use this to flank people in the gas or just to hold out on a certain point into the last circle. It's definitely a game changer, honestly. Now, the third thing is the specialist token. You can find this randomly in the game from crates. They've actually added it, you know, as random loot you can actually find. Very rare, though. I feel like it's got a slightly higher drop rate once you enter the red door location as you know this gives you every perk in the game very overpowered if you can actually find it you're also going to find satchels money weapons self revives other stuff that's going to help you basically now it is good to note that you can use the red doors to escape from people that are chasing you or even escape from bounties but be warned after you open this door they can follow you inside. My bounty decided to follow me in and I was able to kill one of them, but his friend got me. I think you do have a heads up on someone if they do teleport in because they're going to be like, I have absolutely no idea where you are or what you're doing. You do get teleported to a random location around for dance, and I'm pretty sure you could even end up in the gas if you're unlucky. Now, I found 10 red door locations to show you, so you've got an average idea where most are. This isn't every single one. I'm pretty sure there's actually quite a few more than this. Even though I found one in the factory, it can be up to three in these key locations. Now, as always, make sure you guys are subbed if you're new and smash like to help the video out so I can bring out regular content to help you lot in Warzone. Now, here's all the locations that I've found so far. The first place that we're going to be starting at is Summit, and I've found all three possible locations that the Red Door can actually spawn. The first one is going to be inside this little shack here, if you go here, kind of hidden in the corner where the lifts actually come up. This is one of the first door locations that you can take. Now, the second location in the Summit is actually up here. You have to climb. I mean, I climbed up the awkward way, but there's obviously other ways to get up here. And I just climbed through this window and there's the door almost blended in with the wall there. And I was actually getting chased here. So this was a perfect opportunity just to get out. After using that one, I did actually end up at Lumber. The next location is inside this little door here. You come through. You're going to find the old Black Ops map summit. This is like a room that looks like it. But you're going to find the door just slightly here next to the red wall. And this is another location you can take. This one took me to the golf station. But those were all free for Summit anyway. Moving kind of downwards from Summit, you're going to get this kind of like crusty old mine shaft. I don't even know what people call it. It's not even named anything. Basically just some sort of old cowboy mine shaft. Now the first one you're going to find on the bottom floor. You just simply go through this door, take a right, and that is the first door you can take. After taking it, this one led me to the Kilo Station, which actually is in Storage Town. The second location for the red door is... Well, hold on. Give me a sec. Let me take care of this guy. Now, the second location is actually in this shack here, just opposite where the first one was. You're going to see the red door here. Let's go inside and see where it takes us. And this one took me to the Alpha Station, but I'm pretty sure it takes you to a random spot every time. Now, the next location we're moving on to is the factory. Now, if you actually head downstairs, this is where two red doors can actually spawn. Here's the first one. You literally just take a right from the stairs and you're going to find the door there. But there is also another one that actually can spawn way behind where I've just gone. This one teleported me to hotel. The next red door location is going to be at the plaza. This one is actually on the second floor. If you just take the stairs up from the bottom floor, you are going to end on the second floor. You take a left from the staircase and you are going to be here. And this one took me to Delta Station, which can lead you actually at the salt mine. And another location is going to be at the plaza on one of the top floors. You can just take it where it's kind of on the construction part and it's next to the elevator. It's just kind of hidden between a wall. You've got to listen for the sounds out really when you hear these. This is going to basically give it a massive giveaway. 
This next place is at the salt mine. It's kind of the factory on the bottom side. Come through here and take the staircase downwards. You're going to see it right there planted into the wall. Now, I actually had people right behind me before I even knew. I just wanted to jump in and get in here quick. And this one took me to the golf station. The last location that I know of is at the stadium. Now, there's a few that can actually spawn here. One being on the actual sign and another being completely on the opposite side of where you see this red door here. This is a place where it can spawn. I had a bounty on me, so yeah, I had to dip. This was the first door that I found. This one led me to Delta Station as well in the salt mine. But guys, that was pretty much it. That was all 10 locations that I know of so far in the game. If you'd like to see me try and dig up more, let me know in the comments. And if I get enough likes on the video, hey man, I'll do it. Why not? As always, I hope this video helped you dive into them red doors and see what you can find. I'll see you guys later.